this uh, beginnings of streamings always are a little bit, you know, eh, have I begun streaming? Have I not? What's happening? Where is the link to the stream? Nobody knows. Am I streaming live now? Yes, I am. Where is the link to it? Get the shareable link. Okay. Okay, here. Okay. All right, now. Streaming, I guess we are. And we can start doing this character. So press G. And start doing, of course, with symmetry. Without symmetry will be bad. I have pressed control space bar to get away of my controls. We don't need the controls. Not the controls, the menus from on the right. We don't need all those menus. And this character, how I chose it, I just uh, saw it a few minutes ago and I said, okay, it will be a nice kind of a thing just to try a little bit. Hello, guys. Uh, how is it going? It's going well. I mean, uh, today I finished completely the course uh, of Lobo and tomorrow I will be uploading it, uploading it to our station most likely so i think we are in a good position let's uh, try and make a little bit bigger this body part in here just uh, bigger let's see what will happen i usually do just the neck and a little bit of a traps now i will try a little bit more yeah it's uh, it's not the best but we'll see maybe inflating it will be better yeah Inflating. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. And now I'm even thinking about making a course, a full course of uh, face creation in Blender. Uh, face, face sculpting. It will be with uh, exercises and uh, a lot of things. It will be interesting. I think it will be very much the ultimate. Uh, head sculpting let's say course ever i may call it this this way the ultimate head sculpting course forever yeah i may show you how lobo has going but you probably know already most of you have seen the turntable and all the stuff so it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, I switched. Um, yeah, the question is, uh, why did I switch to Blender? And many people are asking me that all the time. And the truth is that I switched to Blender for a couple of reasons. It's not just one reason. One of the reasons is because I wanted a challenge. I wanted to see if in Blender, which is a free software, completely free, I can do the same things as in ZBrush, and turns out, yes, I can. Uh, because even in ZBrush, where it can support a lot of millions of polygons, I kind of am saving those polygons. I'm not using all of them, even in ZBrush. And in Blender, this is completely okay. In Blender, I can do a character, very kind of complex character, like Lobo, for example, now for the course. Uh, in just, uh, I think Lobo was 15 million, so it's pretty low for this type of character. And it's looking kind of fine. I may show it to you guys a little bit. Here it is, Lobo. This is the main render. Uh, it was a little bit of cheating, I, I can admit, this is not a real render, it's a render, but in Blender you have something which is called Workbench Render. And it's basically the, this thing here, I mean, the Workbench is basically this, but with just a fake shadow and stuff, and that's how I rendered it uh, quickly. And it became pretty nice style, like comic style a little bit and stuff like this. So it's looking good, in my opinion. Hello guys, I'm fine. Uh, hope you are okay too. We are living in uh, interesting times, which is not always the best, but it's cool. It's cool. The important thing is to keep sculpting, to keep advancing, to keep building our skills, and we will be fine. 
Yeah, this was not intentional. Q, symmetrize. Always symmetrize from time to time, otherwise it will not look very cool. Now, okay, he's not looking great, but we don't have too much polygons. I will increase the poly count. And now we'll start doing it. You see, I like this concept because he looks so manly and so, you know, like rough. But uh, handsome in some way. So, yeah. If you start the face course, would you uh, add racial features to... Huh, that's a good idea, by the way. Uh, I can try to do... Uh, I will do a couple of heads in this course. Because it will be like exercise 1. Uh, start like this, like this, like this, then exercise two, start another head, but doing it this, this, this. There will be exercises probably. And uh, maybe one of the exercises will be to do, and I will do, Asian head and uh, probably African head or whatever it's called. These days, I don't know anymore. African because in South Africa there are a lot of white people so I don't know exactly all right so for the forehead it will be like yeah maybe also female head male head or the other thing is that if you concentrate yourself in making male head for example you will get away from the female head a little bit. So you will not be able to do very well male heads. If you concentrate yourself on male, you will not be able to do good the female and the, the, the other way around. That's why I don't know if I will make the course for male or for female head only. Maybe one for male and one for female will be nice or just the first part will be male. And then the second part female, probably two courses will be too much. Maybe one kind of a big course with everything inside. Just for the usual price, you know, because I'm not Wing Fox. I am, uh, you know, doing it the usual price, which is pretty low, but it's more accessible, which is great. Ah, excited for the <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. I'm not uh, still doing it. But first, my uh, next goal is to make a YouTube video about the 10 most common mistakes people are making when sculpting heads. Then probably I should make a YouTube video about uh, the about the legs, how to sculpt legs. Because I have four arms, I have four torso, I think. I'm not sure about the torso. If I don't have four torso, I should do four torso too. But yeah, we'll see. And then I will think about the course. But first, a few, few YouTube videos. Because I haven't made uh, normal YouTube videos for a while. Just these lives that I'm doing now. And I have to be a little bit quicker. I'm probably losing training with, with the recent developments. Since I'm not in Gameloft anymore. Maybe I, I should train more because I will lose shape i will get out of shape would like to take a project based course with exercises yes exercises definitely i'm planning to do this for a course so making a simple head then making a head with uh, just with planes planes of the head explanations and stuff uh, a lot of things only about the human head uh, the skull in the beginning probably a few exercises about the skull very important and all those things i'm planning to do and hopefully it will be uh, also excited exciting although the end result will not be something amazing but uh, i mean at the end my promo video and my uh, all of uh, the the pictures I post and everything, there will not be something amazing, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe there will be uh, enough.
Okay, so clavicle, the most important thing is to do your clavicle. If you don't do your clavicle, you will be in a bad shape. Definitely. So do your clavicle always. Huh. In flip normals, everything will be in flip normals from now on. I even now uploaded Lobo course in the flip normals. Uh, now they have to approve it and it will be maybe at the least next week it will be uh, uh, it will be on the flip normals tomorrow it will be in uh, our station and when they approve it in udemy they, it will be in udemy the lobo course the other course that i'm planning it's still not uh, started so i haven't started it so no there will be time until it's kind of done All right, let's see. Shoulders. Chest. Yeah, the face is, eh, I would say, could work. You know, the eyes. Many people are asking me, uh, why are you doing in your uh, life, sculpts, the eyes from the same mesh? Isn't it better? For the eyes to be the separate uh, sphere of course <laughs> of course it's better i'm just doing this for fun and uh you know but you, you if you have to do it properly you have to do it from a sphere this is just for fun i'm just sculpting here a little bit chatting with you guys i mean answering your question questions if you have ones um i left gameloft are you freelancing now teaching full-time yeah i'm teaching full-time what i mean is that from the courses thanks to you all of you i'm making enough money uh to live it's not uh, you know i may not be able to save too much but i'll be able to live properly it will be fine so yeah i left the company because there are things that began to you know uh we were completely um remote until they decided to make it hybrid model, which means two days uh, at the office, mandatory, and uh, the rest of the days in the week at home. But I didn't want that because this will kind of make it difficult for th those two days to make my courses, my YouTube videos and stuff like this. And that's why I kind of uh, said uh, I don't like that. And we decided that it's better for me to leave. And by we, I'm saying me and the manager of the company. And not only I left. There are other people. I mean, the art director also left and other people. So, yeah. Many people nowadays don't want to go out of remote. Remote is good for them. For me too. And now I'm fully remote, <laughs> probably. You can imagine. So now let's increase the polygons. But be careful. Uh, when I was recording the Lobo course, I just overdid this uh, remesh with a little bit more polygons that uh, my computer can handle, probably. And it started to lag, then it froze completely. And I had to restart the whole computer because of this. And this was while I was recording. It was not very good. Because the recording was lost. And then I had to re-record the whole video again from scratch. But it, it happens. These things happen. So Blender sometimes is like, hmm. But most of the time it's, it's okay. Oh, that's strong guy. I like strong guys. like doing them yeah thank you uh yeah greetings from my new channel yeah thank you it's new it's like one year uh one week old or something i'm not sure but the idea here is to make the lives here and not to you know make the lives to the other channel because those lives will be um i mean they will not be very uh educational they could be entertaining to watch they could be interesting uh just talking just uh, like talk show or something but uh, not super educational most likely so 
the other channel will be more educational, more uh, with topics that are interesting for everybody. This one, just for fun, just a fun thing. Just fun gig, we may say. Oh, uh, the remote is remote work is amazing, yes, but uh, for the company is not that good. I mean, uh, the company wants people to be engaged. They want people to uh, have a team building, to to build uh, trust and build uh, connections between each other in the teams, and this cannot be done remotely that easy. So, uh, yeah, that's why they want us to go to the office for certain time uh, but you know i'm old i don't need this anymore now we have to make some kind of beard most likely of this character because if you don't if we don't make beard it will not look uh, that close to the original and we cannot see our mistakes if you if we don't make a basic beard and hair because there are mistakes, definitely. I will just put a beard and hair a little bit and we'll see what will happen. Of course, <laughs> putting a beard and hair, it's, um, it's easy to say, but it's not very easy to do because, you know, most of you probably know it's a process which takes a lot of time. Most of the time it takes a lot of time. What do you personally enjoy sculpting more? Strong muscle or dude? Conventional beauty for woman? Animals? Monsters? Monsters and strong uh, strong dudes. Yeah. From young age, I was impressed by the bodybuilders and Arnold Schwarzenegger and the other builders in that time. And I was super impressed. By the time that I was young, uh, I think Lee Haney was, was the guy. And Dorian Yates was a champion also. So yeah, this type of guys. I love to draw them. I love to draw. I was drawing because I was not sculpting. I didn't have ZBrush or Blender back then. I didn't have a computer even. So I was only drawing. And I was drawing a lot. And mostly I was drawing uh, strong man uh, torsos like superheroes or something, but just the torso. So when I started my work career, uh, my legs were a little bit, you know, off. They were not that good. That's why I kind of started doing more legs, leg day, and I became better in legs. So yeah. What's the most mechanical character you've ever sculpted? Once I've sculpted one character, which I am not sure where it is, it should be somewhere here in my computer, you you probably haven't seen it, because I didn't put it anywhere. It's a character, it's a very nice, kind of a robotic character, it's very interesting, but it's sculpted from a couple of meshes, it's not ready, it's just like a sketch, it's very cool, but it's just a sketch. Someday maybe I will finish it. It's a very cool character. But these days I'm not doing anything just for a portfolio or for fun. Most of the things I'm doing are for the YouTube channel or for courses. And yeah, but uh, you, you see, Lobo, for example, was a character that I would do for fun, but I did it for a course and also for fun. So it's, it's pretty cool. I, I think it's, it's nice. And the guy, by the way, the the concept artist that made Lobo is amazing. I mean, he's just so good. Dario, um, I for, forget his last name all the time. But Dario is just fantastic. If you write Dario in in our station, the first guy that will came out will be him, <laughs> probably. Dario, Dario Jelusic or something like this. Was he? Yeah. Just fantastic. So excited. Maybe I will do something with, I mean, his in the next next year, probably. And I'm also planning, probably at some point, to do a Samurai Warrior. Kind of realistic one. 
in Blender. But everything in Blender, yeah. Uh, some, some people are asking me, but uh, are you not gonna go back to ZBrush? Probably not in uh, recent years. I will not. In the next few years, probably I will do mostly Blender stuff. This is the hair, by the way. It doesn't look like much yet. But hopefully, it will look cool at some point. Do you have any course for 3D printing? Ah, it's a very good question, because now for for Lobo, I'm talking all the time about the 3D printing and why I'm doing something because of the 3D printing, because I'm planning to 3D print it, Lobo. And um, that's why I'm... This course can be mm, a course like uh, how to do a 3D printing also. I mean, not exactly to cut the model or something, but how to model for 3D printing, yes. How to make the things thicker and bigger, to be better in the print, to not break. Lobo is that kind of course, yes. And I'm also planning maybe at some point to do a miniature figure sculpting for uh, the Warhammer games, stuff like this, but this will be... I'm just thinking about it. So I have some ideas, we may say. This is a very interesting hair here, but we'll see. No, two less polygons. How many people are watching? Can somebody tell me? I don't uh, exactly see how many people are in the chat right now. It's interesting, just because now I have like over 300 subscribers on this channel. And uh, yeah, it's I'm curious how many people are watching of those 300 subscribers. Sixteen. Ah, it's fine. What's my favorite superhero? My favorite superhero. Hmm. Maybe Deadpool. Yeah, it's it, he's so funny. I mean, you cannot uh, you cannot not love him. You know, he's so nice. Deadpool and Lobo is also nice, but I haven't really seen any comics with Lobo. I haven't, uh, you know, bumped into a comic with Lobo, although I like him a lot as a character. Uh, also, what else? Maybe Wolverine also, I kind of like him. Spider-Man is okay. By the way, one of the best comics comics that I've read was Spider-Man, one of the Spider-Mans. It's very cool. It's very well written and everything. A very nice story. Do you do Blender courses because it's bigger audience for it, or is because Blender is better software? The first, the first answer. <laughs> no, you know, uh, I mean, the first answer is true, yeah, but um, Blender is also, it's not the best. It's not better than ZBrush in sculpting, but it's very, very close, and it's free. So, it's, it's just super amazing for me how this course, uh, how this software is, evolved so much especially in the sculpting it's super cool and also there's a bigger audience yes i admit it i admit it commercial style yeah more money in blender courses definitely so i will not say it's not one of the reasons that i am doing it is it the main reason maybe 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 i'm just a commercial guy maybe i just want the money, show me the money. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, Blender is uh, amazing. It's super free. I mean, w what is more free than, than Blender? Nothing. By the way, no, Blender is free, but there is always but, you know, and the but in Blender is... Blender is much heavier than ZBrush, 
so you need a better video card. If you want to do more high poly models, better video card is in order. And also, if you want to have, uh, for example, Z mod, uh, Z Z remesher, which is Z remesher in Blender, is uh, quad remesh. Uh, it, is it quad remesh? Let me see. Quad remesh, yeah. Quad remesh is in Blender, but it's not free. It's paid. So, yeah, Blender is super free, but not quite much if you want to have everything if you want to make your workflow nice and smooth it's a little bit difficult you need to pay some money money hard earned money i will go to scope mode exactly and just do i don't have money for a course so I will follow your commercial 3D character series. Is it recommended to copy the character? Do you do or should I make our own character following some methods as the series? Uh, in my opinion, if you are following the character that I'm doing in my YouTube channel, um, I already did did it, but uh, yeah. Uh, so if you're following, in my opinion, you should do it, the same character, to just uh, follow the techniques and make them absolutely the same i mean the, the same character and then when you're ready you can do your own character but it will be much more difficult if you are trying to do use the same techniques because you know everything is a little bit diff different in in each character it's not as easy <laughs> this beard is awful yeah, it will take a lot of time to make a proper beard, I think. But we don't have that amount of time. I mean, now, 27, almost half an hour, 27 minutes. And we have something that looks... Eh. But by the way, I'm not saving now. Because I don't want to. And uh, at some point, ZBrush could... Uh, uh, ZBrush. <laughs> Blender could crash. Uh, which happens sometimes. It's not like uh, ZBrush doesn't do that. But Blender does that kind of more often, especially when I'm recording. So I have to save. But I like to live on the edge. If you don't like to live on the edge... No, I'm joking. I don't like to live on the edge. But uh, if you especially don't like to live on the edge, save often. And you will be okay. And also, yeah, you will save. It, it, there is auto save and stuff. Let me see the auto save. Is it on? Recover, auto save. Quit blend auto save yesterday so my auto save in this version of blender i don't know but it's not working quite much it's not working definitely because now every two minutes it has to make auto save but it doesn't so yeah i'm sorry if i uh, didn't answer some of your questions if i missed them it's absolutely normal you probably have seen streamers and stuff it's uh, even for that not so many people it's difficult because I have to do this I have to do this and sometimes just uh, go to the questions because it will not be interesting to just answer questions and not work I mean I have to work I have to do the the character so another question let's see have you ever tried 3d sculpting yourself or someone you know very well and can see often just for practice yeah I've tried to sculpt myself of course and it was not a very good sculpt. It was not a very good result. And that's why I haven't tried it since. Uh, and why it's not a good result? Because it's a different thing to, to sculpt likeness than what I'm doing. It's a little bit different. And it's difficult and it takes a lot of time. And I'm a little bit lazy. And I like things to happen quickly as you probably can see. Speed char, you know. Speed. It's all about speed in my case. So I like to be fast. That's why I don't do likenesses. They are very slow. As you see, Laura from um, Outgang, she is struggling now with the likeness of the actress she's chosen because it's difficult and she also is not very good at likenesses. She's a very good 3D artist, but 
likenesses are another thing. You have to do a lot of likenesses, spend a lot of time making likenesses to be good at that, at that you know. That's the thing about likeness sculpts. Let's just see how he will look. Da, da, da. Ah. It's not quite much as the concept. Let me see. Now, the cheekbones have to be more in. Ears a little bit different. Nose has problems. The moustache is too big in my case. Yeah, and the mouth also. So let's just go there and fix some areas. Uh, the likeness will be difficult. Uh, this is also likeness. Although it's a concept, you have to do kind of a likeness, which obviously is not easy. Yeah, quadra measure is the same as zero measure. The question is, is it the same as zero measures? It's absolutely the same. Why? Because the same guy made it. The guy who made zero measure is selling quadra measure for uh, 3D Max, for Blender, for Maya. So you can have the same zero measure as you get free in ZBrush, which software is kind of expensive. ZBrush is not very cheap, but you can get it for free in ZBrush for the other softwares like Blender, you need to pay, I think between 60 and a hundred dollars. I don't know around that price. He's not looking as a concept. I'm a little bit concerned why this is happening. Let's see. I left my job and full focus started your courses this week. Can you have any suggestions for get freelance? No, I even me. I used to get freelance before the summer. I get offers for freelance uh, often, but before the summer. Now, all the summer, not no freelance offers at all. And now, until now, no freelance at all. I mean, I don't know what happened, but no freelance any haven't had any freelance offers still but uh, the idea is if you want to get freelance you have to uh, be good of course you have to become uh, like uh, you know good enough and post often nice things in our station and promote yourself in certain channels in Facebook uh, you can make an Instagram but you have to definitely be uh, better than most we may say otherwise it's a hard knock life so the ears i will lift them up they look like are a little bit too low for my taste he's still not looking quite like i wanted to look yeah, probably I will not be able to make it, whatever. You should try the free island called Power Safe. It's amazing and saved so many times. <laughs> it saved so many, yeah, it saved your ass probably so many times, you might, uh, you want to say, which is great. But I'm um, usually when I'm working, I'm saving a lot. I'm like working for 15 minutes and then control S, which is, uh, you know, I have this, mm, you know, I'm doing this. But uh, now, I just don't want to do it. Because I told you, living on the edge. Scale the cylinder. And put it down here. To make it... This thing. Everything will be very simple. This is just a <clears throat> something like a block out. Because you see, you cannot make this kind of character for one hour. It will be... Pretty cool if you can do it, but even I cannot do it. So he will be just a just a base. 
himself. He's very mad. What is he mad about? I don't know. He's... Yeah, probably because of the steroids, maybe. The steroids are always... Not always, but in some people they... They do this. You become like uh, mad and uh, aggressive and stuff like this. And you look like this. I mean, if you train a lot, of course. If you don't train, probably you look uh, much different. You will, If you don't train but take steroids, maybe you will look, because you will eat a lot, your appetite will be strong, and you most likely will look something like uh, a ball. More like a ball, yeah. Not very muscular ball, we may say. Just a ball. What about texture XYZ? We can get super realistic output. Okay, I'm not uh, doing this type of realistic characters. I don't do, it, do them at all. I don't like doing realistic characters at all. I mean, yeah, if uh, for some reason maybe I can do some realistic characters, and I've done that for Gameloft recently, I had to do some, but they're not super realistic, they're game realistic. Most of the time, game realism is not exactly real realism, as you probably can imagine. Even in the game like, uh, for example, Ghost of Tsushima, it's not super realistic game, it's a game realism. So, yeah. Super realistic games, I'm not sure there are too many of them, or if there are any of them, maybe there are. Let's see it with shadow a little bit, a little bit bigger shadow, over the eyes. He's not looking, he, he's looking much older somehow. In the concept, he's younger. In my case, it's it's super old. Yeah, probably I will get it with some iterations. Now it's just not gonna work. Thanks, Nico, you're the best. Uh, yeah, thank you, but I know that I'm not. <laughs> I've seen much better people. For example, have you seen the recent post from uh, Grassetti, his Lobo. Uh, I mean, yeah, what's happening? Yeah, who is the best? Huh? Who is the best? My Lobo is good. His Lobo is... Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. And not only Grassetti. If you take, like, many other uh, artists, they are very, very good. And I, I can say for many of them that they are better than me. Maybe they are not making tutorials or courses. But that doesn't mean that they are not good. Maybe they are bad people as people. I mean they are, for example, uh, taking some candies from babies or something. But they are good as artists, which I respect. We don't know that. I mean... I'm not saying that they are taking candies or ice cream from babies or kids, no. But there could be. I don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. I use Maya for modeling and I didn't like the UV tool in Blender. UV tool in Blender is maybe not the best. Maybe not. Uh, I like it probably better in Max. But when you get used to it, it's completely fine. It's not, not the worst. It's okay. 22 viewers, Nuko, you're getting more than most times on Twitch. And the channel is what a week old. Yeah, growing big because I advertised it in uh, in my other channel with, with just the post, you know. But these days, I will do uh, certain videos probably on the other channels. On the other channel. And I will mention most likely in them this channel. And maybe even more people will come and stuff like this. It will be nice. Maybe uh, the notifications in YouTube 
are a little bit better than notifications in Twitch. So when I'm doing a live like now, maybe people are get notified in YouTube a little bit better than in Twitch. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Guesswork I'm doing. He's not looking like a concept again. Maybe his nose is a little bit too low. You have to lift it up. Like this. And this part of the nostril here have to be more flat. This area here should be smoother. Yes, to look for him to look younger. Maybe his lower lip shouldn't be that big. That's just a maybe. But it should be kind of okay. Yeah, his hair is a little bit too much for me. I'm I'm not <laughs> I, uh, just this this haircut is wow. Uh, I'm the best teacher. Uh, I'm not sure exactly about that too. I mean, not sure because I don't know exactly the other teachers. How are they working? Working, but this Pablo, uh, his name is Pablo. Uh, his channel is uh, Pablander. Pablander, you know him. Probably most of you know him. Pablo Munoz uh, Gomez is his name. So as a teacher, I may say he's better. I just might say. I'm not sure. I've seen some of his uh, videos and stuff. And he's a very good teacher. Also, he's a very good artist. I mean, amazing. Maybe he cannot do um, a head from scratch faster than me and better than me. But that's not, you know, that's not re relevant. He's a very good artist. Pablo. Raf Grassetti. Ah, his uh, stuff is expensive. Yeah, but he's, uh, I mean, he's very good. But for beginners, I think I'm good. Yeah. I can teach more uh, beginner friendly, probably. Grassetti is, uh, he's so far ahead that he cannot see what beginners see. Because he's so far away. I'm joking, of course. Probably he can. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just saying that maybe that's the case. Why am I, what am I doing? I don't know exactly. Sometimes I have to alt and tap because some something happens with... Uh, by the way, with ZBrush, it happens absolutely the same way. Sometimes it just starts to lag and show me the labels alt and shift. And then I have to just alt and tap, alt and tap, and it's fixed. Just the minor issues here and there. Face, face and brows are too thin. He's wider in the concept around the eye area. Yeah, but I'm trying to do him... To do it a little bit like... You know, realistic. A little bit like I'm... Yeah, probably there is a little bit more eye area. But this guy looks fat. And this guy looks strong. I mean, our guy looks more fat, especially in the face. Maybe with bigger chin or something. Maybe I can make the chin a little bit smaller. It's not working again. Whatever. His neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His uh, traps are just super huge. Maybe I can dial them down a little bit. Make the nose bigger. Yeah, my guy is looking uh, pretty fat. Zebrush Guides, the guy who streams with Psycho. Yeah, Zebrush Guides, the same guy, uh, Pablo Under. He's pretty good. Yeah, I'm. Uh, 
recently I'm uh, streaming only on YouTube and in YouTube you have the benefit that the videos will stay forever or at least until the nuclear bombs uh, you know erase everything but other than that it will stay you know for good and in twitch they are deleting them in like 30 days and the videos are no more so but uh, thankfully i have them in my computer so i will probably upload new videos from twitch in the near future i have a few which are interesting i think so they will be nice Yeah. Yeah, anatomy names. Um, you know, when you learn anatomy, it's probably good to know the names of the muscles, the names of the parts of the head, of the skull, of whatever. I'm not teaching that that much, <laughs> we may say. And yeah, it's a little bit simpler, simpler in my uh, courses because I show you the shapes. I say the names like this or cheek or whatever, not the scientific names, which is, I think it's fine. And it's working. People are saying it's fine, so yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, for, six, for 46 minutes, I cannot make him look correct. Whatever, this is... This is what we're gonna get for messing up with with who? I don't know. Shift E, oops. Shift A, mess. UV sphere. Let's make an eye. Eyeball. It will be nice to have an eyeball. At last. Maybe this big. Yeah. Since you moved to Blender, are you cancelling other applications, subscriptions that complement Blender? I don't have any uh, subscriptions of any applications, I may say. I have never had. I mean, I bought ZBrush and that's it. 3D Max I've used uh, and still use, if I use 3D Max... I don't see how I will use 3D Max anymore, by the way, after Blender. It's not good. Uh, but I used it uh, pirate version. I mean, it's yeah, normal. In my country, especially in Eastern Europe, everybody is using, especially to, to teach themselves to learn pirate versions of the softwares. It's absolutely normal in our case. And when you start working, making money, then you can pay for the software if you want. That's how I did with how I did it with uh, ZBrush. I worked with ZBrush for a long time. Yeah, this is not good. Let's symmetrize from plus to minus like this. And when I bought ZBrush, I stopped using ZBrush. You know. Definitely. I started using Blender. I probably don't uh, have something against using paid applications. I don't like it. No. Either pirated or free. That's my thing. I'm a little bit joking, but maybe not so much. But I should be joking. It's not a good uh, thing. I mean, yeah. Oh, have you ever made an ecorche for practice? What was ecorche? Just a muscular, you know, something? Ecorche. Yeah, remind me what is ecorche. I don't quite remember what it is. Probably I have. Who knows? I have done a lot of things for practice. You have to study a lot of things to get better. Uh, you know, there is no certain way you can go better. But one of the ways, I mean, the most convenient ways 
to just practice a lot with references and stuff like this. You know. Muscles and tendons on a skeleton, basic sculpting without skin. Uh, I have done a lot of muscular people, which I think is better than a crochet. Because doing a muscular guy who doesn't have too much fat is better because you uh, bear in mind the skin. Because the skin is important. When you do a crochet, uh, some of the muscles will never look like they do in the a crochet in real life. They will always look, you know, a little bit different because of the skin. Even if the guy is very, very, uh, you know, without too much fat, you know, and very lean, they still will look different. So a crochet, yeah, you can do it. I have never done real full a crochet with all the tendons and muscles, I guess. But I have done a lot of muscular guys and uh, monsters. All that, all that jazz, we may say. This guy with a proper render will become pretty good. I will show you. So, shadow, cavity, maybe the cavity world. Yeah. Shadow, let's see. A little bit like this. Maybe. Ah, it's not the best. But it's outline. Yes, please. It's not going to change too much. This is how I did Lobo, by the way, with this kind of shadow and uh, cavity and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, it's possible. You can work with this cavity, with screen or with both. But it's lying a little bit about something, so it's better not to. Hello. Have you ever tried to rig and animate something in Blender for fun? No, animation never. I have never tried animating everything. Rigging, yes. I even rig Lobo. I rig all my characters when I want to make a pose. Because in ZBrush, I pose with masks. But in Blender, it's a little bit not so convenient. The masks in Blender are not yet that good. Uh, masking and moving and uh, in sculpting mode. That's why I'm using rig. I'm rigging the character that I wanna do. And Lobo, for example, I've rigged his arms and moved them. Like, yeah, with rig. Yeah, but I have never tried anything else. You get more people to watch your stream day by day, really happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm not streaming that often, but uh, these days I will probably stream more often because I have more time. And uh, I don't work anymore for Game of... I, you know, I have time for other things, which is a good, you know. But as I said, tomorrow I will release the Lobo course, at least in our station. So stay tuned for that, you will see him, you will see the promo video, which I haven't shown yet, just to certain people, but uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's nice. The, the eyebrows are very, very huge, which is okay for this type of care, but not so much. I mean, we have to dial them down a little bit from below. Not so much. That's a bit too much sometimes. I need to stop working for Game Loft. I explained it in the beginning of the video, kind of. Because of the remote work. That they wanted us to go back to the office for a couple of days a week, and I didn't uh, actually wanted that. And I decided that I will stay with my courses, and I will try to live through the courses. 
So now I'm living only from the money from the courses. Wow, this is not good. And he has a very huge chin, which also is not the best. And the chewing muscles here. Mouth is a little bit bigger. Here we have some interesting muscles which are not exactly realistic. Okay. Yes, earlier in the stream I answered the game of stuff, but I, I say it uh, quickly because of the remote mostly. I'm probably a little bit rusty with the characters. I have to practice more heads these days. Even I can get rusty. That's uh, everybody can probably. I'm concentrated now, that's why I'm not talking. How many hours a day do you recommend practice? <laughs> as much as you can. Of course, uh, for me, more than five hours, for example, uh, of uh, very, uh, you know, concentrated practice uh, could be too much. But, but, if you do it if, uh, because you want to do it, and if you do it because you have... Um, it's your pleasure, then you can do even 12 hours, it's not a problem. But if it's like difficult for you to start practicing and to do it because you kind of don't like, then probably more than four hours will be too much. You know, that depends on what you wish to do. Hmm. The ears are again lower than they should be. Okay. Yeah, too big of a jaw. But he's a barbarian, so big jaw is kind of normal. Let's make it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit better now. Not too much though, but still. Little is also fine. Maybe I should make a little bit of a poly paint with the... to the face. Why not? Let's paint it a little bit. Mm, yeah, go to sculpt mode, take the brush, take a little bit of this color and start painting. Amazing, just fast paint here and there, quick. I'm a quick painter, you see. Then we will get a little bit of darker color. And what we would paint with this darker color? Maybe the lips. Just very easy. Here, the eyes. Eyebrows. With eyebrows, it's a little bit better, I think. Uh, blender sculpting seems like a good alternative to ZBrush. Uh, definitely, definitely, yes. That's what I, I wanted to see. And January this year, I just went from ZBrush to Blender completely and uh, without uh, any hesitation. 
and I even started working, I mean, for the work projects, I start using only Blender and for everything, just Blender. And it was, it was going pretty well. And it is still, because the freelance that I had in the, in the spring, I had some freelance. It was completely done in Blender. And as you know, the courses. And I think I did at least seven characters for Gameloft. In Blender. This year. So it's fine. Blender is completely fine. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of subdivision surface modifier. Three times. Apply. And then we can draw on the ice. Let's draw some ice. This is the brown of the ice. Okay, we have to make make it a little bit bigger, probably. And then we have to make it brighter. Brighter than the sun. And here we have brighter on the bottom. On the top, maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, definitely darker in the top. And then with black here. What matcap and focal length I'm using while I'm sculpting? Uh, the matcap I'm using is the default one in uh, Blender. Well, the eyes are so bad. Like this is a little bit better. But it's not easy, especially in the viewport, to make the eyes like in ZBrush with, uh, with the material, with the toy plastic material and uh, everything to be the best. It doesn't work this way here that much. So I'm using matcap and what? Focal length 88 millimeters. Focal length 88, most of the time. I don't like this guy completely. I completely don't like him. But this, it is what it is, that's, uh, it's, uh, what it, you know, it's normal. Because it's a life, so whatever we can do uh, is that. This is what I can do. I probably cannot, cannot do it better for this amount of time. If I have maybe three hours on to work on this head, maybe it will kind of start to look more like the concept. Now, not so much. Even with the shadow, it, <laughs> it looks uh, awful. I will rotate the eyes a little bit outward. Yeah, sometimes this helps. Not always, though. I will move them up. And this should help a little bit. Set up a light and render it. Uh, no, I mean, light here in Blender is fine to set up a light. But to render it uh, properly, it takes a lot of time and effort since um, this is just, uh, you know, sculpt which is done for a very, very short amount of time. And it doesn't really look that good. And I have a light. You see? Let's see, by the way. Hmm, I cannot rotate this light. This is a point light. Let's go sun. 
add to rotate it am i stuttering while i'm rotating no it's uh, just a simple render so it's fine yeah now it looks a little bit better when with something like render the shadows here we have to fix the bias to make it small because it's it's problematic and the shadows itself contact shadows it's good to have always let's see yeah and we can have some kind of a hdr for example but you see how it doesn't look super cool we have to make it look good in this mode and then eventually thinking about the render otherwise it will always be bad not liking what is happening here in the back too huge almost missed the stream ah, don't worry about it i mean don't worry about the stream the stream is just this you know nothing too good the character itself is kind of nice but it's a little bit generic uh the face is cool the face i like That's what I'm trying to achieve. Unsuccessfully, obviously. Maybe his lower lip is too big yet. So let's flatten this mustaches a bit. Is uh okay, it's difficult, but yeah. On YouTube, if not, would you like to what uh have you been at Pixelogic Zebra Streaming Industries top light? I don't know what you mean. I mean what? Uh to stream for Pixelogic or something? Probably not anymore. I'm doing Blender now, so they will never ask me to stream for them. <laughs> Since I'm using Blender, it will be awkward. I mean, uh, Zebra Stream and the guys using Blender in the stream, you know, nobody notices because it's it's the same. <laughs> it's the same software. Uh, yeah, it's not the same, but it's more or less uh, looking uh, similar. Yeah, it's a, a little bit like a homeless man. I agree. By the way, I can select this color. And make the beard a little bit of this color. It will be a little bit more appropriate. And the hair also. Just so it's not exactly super different colors. He's completely different vibe. I don't know why, but completely different vibe. It's not even close. It's very interesting not even close let's see it without the beard i mean ooh, he looks like uh some kind of a, a very evil guy from the movies very evil but evil evil super evil i completely don't like him i mean i i it's it's cool but it's not like the concept, so, you know. After painting this, can you remesh it again? Of course, you can remesh it. Then reproject it. Project also the vertex color. It's absolutely like in, in ZBrush. Of course, the vertex color, I'm not sure I can reproject it now. Since I'm not used to do that anymore. Wow. Oh, something happened here with my arm. My watch has made a little bit of a... You know, something here. Maybe when I uh, kind of put it on and... But it's okay. It will pass in a few minutes, probably. Let's see. He has big ears, okay. He has big nose, okay. Ok, 
Okay. Let's flatten a little bit the lips. All right. As I said, it is what it is. Yeah, uh, doing, obviously, doing a head from a concept is not as easy as I thought. Even for me, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, if I do like um, those kind of trolls that I did before, it's very easy to, to get it because you, you don't have to make complete likeness. But for this, likeness is uh, required and it's pretty hard to do. Bring the whole thing to make his nose a little bit shorter. I think it could help our character. But we'll see. He looks very old. In uh, my case. Much older than he is in the concept. Which is not a good idea. Ever. To make your character older than, it, than he is. Which other brand video to tutorials you find helpful on YouTube? I've seen a lot of them. Uh, even in the beginning when I was studying Blender, I watched the donut, of course, of uh, the Blender Guru. And I watched some of his also courses to see some other things. But I see uh, a lot of other guys, for example, for Lobo, I had to do the chain. And the chain was... How to do the chain, you know, how to do it. And I watched some other videos. And so, for some other people, some random people. So, everybody can offer something useful, I guess. But for sculpting in Blender, uh, there are not too many videos. Flip Normals, they have some. And me. And now Laura from... Outgang also has some. Of course, you see much more audience for this type of content. And Laura realized that Blender is more perspective than ZBrush. And she went full on into Blender. Maybe people also are asking her, but Laura, will you make... Again, something in ZBrush, please. Not anymore. Not with this voice, of course, but similar. Okay. Now, probably she will uh, do some ZBrush stuff. I don't know. For, for me, I know that probably I will not. But who knows? Mm, it's... You never know. Then you will go. I love to Demon Hunter's course. I'm practicing first two sculpting lessons for nine days. Ooh, nine days, but it's cool. Because the, the more you practice, the better you become, you know? Of course, it's, it's a slow process. Uh, some people are thinking that <clears throat> they will get the pen and the tablet and they will start sculpting and everything will be amazing but it usually not exactly work this way not quite i mean almost but not quite i'm starting to, to kind of get there a little by little but not too much. Yeah, the, the, the color was not very cool. The 
the world score, obviously. Um, thanks for the tutorials. If I ever land a job, I will donate. I don't uh, kind of accept donations, by the way. <laughs> I don't have a Patreon or whatever. Although I thought about doing a Patreon and then offering for the Patreons uh, my, uh, the models from my courses for 3D print. The models themselves, but um, it's not exactly appropriate since I'm selling courses and the idea is for the people to do the course and do the character themselves. Why should they pay for the character from the course, uh, the original one that I did? It's not, I think it's not a very good idea. We'll see. But Lobo definitely will probably, not definitely, but probably I will sell him somewhere. The character from the course, because it's happens to be nice. As the orc, by the way. The orc that I did for next to it, I then uh, put it on sale in, uh, in Sketchfab, I think, yeah. And it was not, it's not selling at all. I think I have a couple of sales, like two, three. And one of them was the guys from uh, AliExpress who now are selling the figure of this orc. Without mentioning my name, of course, but uh, it's... You know, Chinese guys, you cannot... You cannot deal with them. <laughs> I like this mustaches a lot. Very interesting. He looks like a monkey. But it's fine. the eyes maybe we can put them back a little bit it's not a very good idea to move them with the grab brush uh, because you'll probably you know change their shape from uh, from sphere to something else which is never a good idea but in this case i can you know i think the right side at the upper lip is higher than the left He's looking like he is disgusted. Yeah, but uh, this is because I'm not using a symmetry in the mustaches exactly. But we will say that we wanted to achieve this type of character and we will not show the concept in the in the picture of this video. I'm in the thumbnail. I will not put the concept there and it will look fine. Without the concept, this, look, this looks like a legit character, you know. So yeah, cheating, but still. Or even we can try to render it like this. Amazing stuff. By the way, uh, if I want to do an HDR, if it doesn't crash, let's try the Blender kit. It's absolutely free. We can go to HDRs and select one of those absolutely free hdrs to use something which is contrasted like this one i just drag it i don't want to be super big downloading it and we'll see okay and this is too much let's dial it down a bit until it's like this but it's it's again a little bit too much probably because even without the light it's too much light with those uh, some of those HDRs if we go we can go lower than this 0 0.03 oh we can okay that's nice let's go to the light again and disable the background yeah with one rim light probably we can deal with it so light select it duplicate it back rotate it make it area light the area is square bigger Ooh, not so big this is too much rotate it and make it 2000 and we should have a nice rim light or at least some rim light let's say not nice rim light but some rim light 
It doesn't look very intimidating, we may say. When is the new course coming up? Maria, the new course is coming up tomorrow. Uh, the Lobo course. Uh, tomorrow on our station. I uploaded it already and applied in uh, Udemy and in Flip Normals, but they usually take a little bit of time. Maybe tomorrow it can go in Udemy too, but I'm not sure. Udemy is unpredictable. Also, Flip, Flip Normals is unpredictable. You cannot know. But in our station, tomorrow will be the day. I will put it on sale. How is it? Plus? Yeah. Plus, minus. Minus. Okay. What do you think about CG Pierce? CG Pierce is one of my favorite sites. <laughs> yeah, I know my, uh, my tutorials, most of them are there. I haven't seen the Dragon uh, Rider cross uh, yet there, but it should come at some point. Yeah, some people are saying that they are waiting for it to to go online in CG Pierce. But I love CG Pierce. I may say I downloaded uh, ZBrush so many years from CG Pierce. Now other uh, softwares like for example amazing software uh, for pictures to resizing pictures is of i forgot the name to pass gigapixel ai amazing very nice it's just for some pictures i mean just random i just uh, for fun downloaded it to to see how the AI, ai is doing these days and it's just wow 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 and i found a website by the way amazing website where you can colorize black and white pictures. So I have old pictures when, from when I was like baby. And those pictures I have in my computer, some of them. And I, you just drag the picture into the website and it colorizes it for you with the help of AI. And it's just amazing. I, I would say amazing. And the name of the site is palette.fm. So it's p a l l e t t e dot f m palette dot dot f m amazing. I mean, pff. you can try it. I by the way colorized even Lobo. Let me see if I can. I hear this. Yeah. So this is. So I put the black and white version of Lobo, and it colorizes it. <laughs> this is the result. It's not the best, yeah, but it's it's cool. It's it's fine. I mean, you see. Uh, I like how the, the metal things here are not exactly just one color, but they look like rusty and stuff. So it's it's having its moments. I mean, it looks fine. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I will show you some other picture. This is me and my sister when we were very young. And this is a black and white picture. And I always seen this picture in black and white. And... This just colorizes it for for a few seconds. It's just what what you know, amazing. Why don't you I make the eyebrows by a different mesh? I would, if I have to do it properly. But if I want to be fast, I uh, you know do it like this. And already we are not that fast. I mean hour and a half. This is not fast at all. But still, let's make a little bit of a body. Oop, not, not circle, no. Sphere. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired probably, but it's normal. The day I uh, finished the course, I finished the the promo video and uh, I upload, uploaded everything. It was hours and hours of work. So I'm not, I'm jobless. I'm not uh, basically at work anymore, but I'm working <laughs> a lot again. No, it's not. Good to see you, Nico. This is Cosmic Computer. Ah, Cosmic Computer. Uh, did you see Grassetti made a Lobo sculpt in this in his style? I like your concept better. Ah, thank you very much. But uh, Grassetti's, uh, you know, model is just, you know, class, amazing stuff. I saw it. Yeah, 
I saw it, and it's it's uh, funny that he made Lobo the same time that I did my Lobo. So I think he's copying me, but whatever, it's okay, it's okay. I will not uh, sue him. Probably it's fine. For me, it's fine. So yeah, Russians download even Blender from CGPers. Yeah, amazing stuff. <laughs> but CG Pierce is working yet in Russia, which is very yeah, great. At least something is uh, working there. It's it's fine. I mean, most people who are um, using CG Pierce in Russia most likely are good people. Nice. But even those nice people can be mobilized in the army unfortunately unfortunately very bad for them i think it's a very bad situation but politics is not exactly the theme of this channel although i'm just sometimes um you know doing a little bit of you know talking about those things it's not right it's not correct it's not good There's a side coin this person, it's not excellent. There is a counter surface in there. Uh, this person, ah, yes, this is an AI generated uh, persons. I know this site, I saw it. They're pretty cool. Yeah, I, AI these days is just you know, I'm amazed what things can happen. Nico, I hope you make good money with your courses. I can't thank you enough for all your help. Thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of can live with the money from the courses now. I will not get rich, at least for now. I will not save too much, especially without the salary from Gameloft. But I think I will be alright, at least for now. We will see how this will go. Maybe I will start another job at some point, at some other company, fully remote. Hopefully, we'll see. I even can get back to Gameloft if, if I want. If I tell them that I will do whatever they want. <laughs> if I, uh, you know, accept their terms, their terms, I will be okay. Let's make an arm with a circle. Let's see. So this will be our top of the arm, as I did with the with the orcs, with the trolls, I mean, here. Oh, you have root tracker, and in the root tracker, I, I don't uh, have this, I think. We don't have here, a root tracker. We should in the Discord make a game and become billionaires. Um, that's not a very good idea, by the way. I've seen a lot of people mm, kind of trying to make a game, not to become a billionaires. Just because they want to make a game. But it's much more difficult. Especially if you want to make a decent game. Not just to, just some mobile, uh, very easy and uh, very simple game. This is... Yeah, you can do it. But for a, for a decent game, something which is, you know, AA game. Or AAA game. No very very difficult and uh, very few people have managed to do it I mean with of course with with a team of people and stuff but still difficult I don't recommend trying this just for work for other people take money do freelance go to a company work there even if it's a small company but they have to have a budget because they have to pay your salary. And that's it. I have to say, by the way, I have to make a video probably at some point about talking about uh, the, uh, the, the so-called scammers, uh, game company scammers. They're game companies, they are working on a game uh, the game will come out in a 
one or two years, but it never comes and you are doing something for those guys for percentage of the money, for example, and stuff like this. I have uh, something to say about that. And I, I, I have mentioned that maybe in some of my courses, I have mentioned that somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly, but it's an interesting topic. I have to probably make a video about it. And there are companies like this trying to recruit young and, uh, you know, naive guys, which can be a good thing for the guys. They will see what happens sometimes. But uh, you will see no money most of the time, no money at all. You will work, you will make stuff, you will feel like you are working in a company, you will get meetings and everything. And you will say, very, very serious company and uh, nice, but you will get no money. That's the thing. You will get promises for a percentage of the profit when the game came out and it will never come out. That's the thing, you know, the real deal, but yeah, it's cool. It's by the way, uh, even it's cool to work for this kind of type of company if you have no other choice because, um, a little bit because they are really, uh, working like a real company. I mean, to see how it is to work in a real company, it's nice. Just for a taste of this. Symmetrize, symmetry, and yeah, arms. Not the best arms ever though. We can, we can increase the shoulders. As we can see from the Lobo course, the shoulders can look good even if they are very, very, very huge. As you see in the Lobo, the shoulders are just wow, just enormous. And it looks fine. I mean, it looks cool. I will show the R station post, by the way, which is not yet. Release. This is the preview on the community. Yeah. This is. And then this. And then this. And then this. And then some screenshots from the promo. Like this, here are the skulls, rigging, a little bit of Photoshop, just a little bit. And then the promo itself, which you will see tomorrow, most likely. Yeah. Will you ever do a match in Blender? Ah, who knows, maybe. Nobody knows where uh, the life will take us. Maybe even I will do a matcha in Blender at some point. I will go so low to do a matcha. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's okay. You can, uh, I mean, I can do whatever. It depends. But for now, I will concentrate on some more pressing matters like um, doing a uh, big head modeling course with the school first and then a few heads for practice and in every head explaining forms and muscles and fat pads and whatever 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 so yeah it will be a kind of course not just one head and refining refining many heads with exercises homeworks stuff like this I think it will be useful for many, many people. Nipples, very important. 
yeah, with the with the arms, I like him a little bit more since he's now you know having something interesting. Star Citizen is one of those games which will probably never came out really, uh, because they are they are gaining so much money from all the Kickstarter campaigns and other things. They're making stuff and they're getting money. So why should they release? Because if they release at some point, there will be uh, it will be like for example Saints Row, the last Saints Row. There will be hate. The game is not good enough. It's buggy and stuff. And if they never release, if they're always on alpha, beta, gamma version, whatever, they can stay like this forever and gain money from sponsors, from people, from whatever. This type of thing. But they're paying. Uh, Star Citizen. I I know people who are working for them. They're paying. So they're not exactly that much of a scam company. There are other people. Uh, companies like uh, Razor Edge Games is the company that I worked for a little bit with the promise of you know, Razor Edge Games. They're working on th their game for more than eight years now and they are nowhere, near nowhere. They have almost nothing. Just something like a, like a video here and there, very bad quality. It's like like from seven, eight years ago, it's uh, not very nice. You can check them out if you want. This is the real scam company. And if you listen to the the guy who is in charge, uh, like how he's talking, like we will release the game in uh, 2015, um when it was 2013 for example the game will be released then we'll have a dlc number one came out dlc number two the mechanics of the games uh of the game are amazing it's a survival game it's so cool and talking and talking and talking and he's talking very well but uh you know yeah i was young and some people are telling me, my friends, they're telling me, be careful with those guys, you will probably get nothing. And I say, ah, oh, you're mistaking, it's a so serious company, it's, it's amazing. They're making everything correctly, the right way. But now, seven or so years later, maybe even eight years or nine, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, it's visible that it's not exactly... Not exactly right. How much time takes making a course? It depends. If I have time, if I have a lot of time, it will. By the way, this is a different uh, blue shirt. I've, uh, you probably have noticed it's a different shade of blue. It's a different shirt, but whatever. So it's it's uh, make my muscle a little bit bigger. I mean, it's uh, it's more in, you know, uh, more fit. If I have time, and if I devote a lot of my energy into making the course. I can do it for less than a month, one course. I can record it and make it and everything and the promo video and images, everything. Less than a month. If the course is too long, like for example, one of my longest courses I did for Next Tooth Education and it's uh, the girl with the dog. I think I made that course for three months. Of course, I wasn't recording every day. I was sick uh, for couple of weeks in these three months but overall from starting to finishing three months because it's very long course uh, it's very big and uh, one of my longest like i think 50 60 70 hours maybe something like this now lobo is 24 hours or 25 hours it's just one day i mean <laughs> if you if you uh start in 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 the midnight you can watch the whole Lobo course until midnight uh, the next day, I mean, you know. Around that. It's pretty easy. I'm not using, as you can see, the concept anymore. Because I'm making it better than the concept, as you can see. 
You see, this biceps here, it's not looking good. It's like strange. And this also is not looking good. I mean, very good artist, obviously, making a very nice face, but the biceps is awful. Just looks very odd. Very odd. It's a good thing that I know how to make good biceps, so yeah. Half-Life 3 will release before Star Citizen, most likely, yeah. Love your videos and explanations. Greeting, Master, have a great day. Thank you very much. But now here is almost midnight, so the day will be tomorrow, but thank you anyway. It's cool, yeah. I heard that people working from there want to leave because they cannot share their work. From Star Citizen, most likely, yeah. But it's not about that only. I mean, uh, you are working, working, working on a project. They pay you, okay. But this project is not coming out, not coming out. You just want to finish. I mean, sometimes you just want to finish your work, you know. It's, it's a good idea to finish. <clears throat> but it, you cannot because the project is a little bit, you know, <clears throat> a scam. Uh, no, it's not a scam. Because they pay you. That's good. What is the game series you should really like to make models for? <clears throat> Fallout, maybe. I would like to make something for Fallout. Serious and uh, maybe Skyrim, the this Elder Scrolls or whatever <clears throat> was the name. Skyrim. And the other, you know, uh, probably. But not too much. I mean, because those games <clears throat> nowadays are a little bit too realistic. And, um, you know, maybe if they offer me to do a model for, for Fortnite or for some mo mobile games like um, like Clash Royale or something like this. Uh, some of these uh, epic games. Not epic games. Supercell. Supercell. Yeah, for that, <clears throat> amazing. Some uh, cartoon characters, I would like to do a lot of them. Maybe for StarCraft. Probably not. It will be too technical. I mean, not so much fun. Do we like those hands? Those arms? We don't have hands yet, but arms we have. By the way, this video became too long and it's probably very boring to watch. I would I will probably guess that it will be very boring for the people to watch it because there is not much going on. Yeah. Thankfully, I'm speaking most of the time, so it's kind of fine, but still not the best video I have ever recorded. <laughs> yeah, let's see some other questions. How often do you work out? Um, Every day. But not too much. I mean, I'm uh, doing some push-ups, some pull-ups, but not too much. I'm doing like five, uh, six pull-ups uh, a day, just in the morning. I go out and uh, do pull-ups in the outside bar. And uh, in the morning, since now it's colder outside, I'm doing like 30 push-ups before I go out to take my, um, my daughter to the kindergarten. So I do like 30 push-ups before I go out. And then before bed, before um, shower every night I do like 30 more push-ups and some jumps and some other things not too much I mean uh, you know but I'm eating a lot of sugar a lot of sugar I'm eating so much sugar these days I'm wondering uh, at what time I will get an insult or, or or something like heart attack or brain injury I'm not sure too much sugar is not very good for you, they say. But I'm eating it. I don't know. We'll see what will happen. Did you try Overwatch to know? I've seen it, but I've never played it. I don't like this kind of multiplayer games that much. They take a lot of time. And I don't like to, you know, to give too much time to a game. 
and the games that I'm playing right now are mostly mobile games just for a few minutes here and there just to play and of course I played Ghost of, Tsushi Ghost of Tsushima Ghost of Tsushima and I was super happy to play that game on my PlayStation 5 it was very very nice amazing I love that game and but I finished it I think I finished it maybe there will be another DLC we will see I will play it probably and I also want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 and 3 because I want but someday I will play it most likely on my computer I don't see it uh, as a good fit for the PlayStation shooters I don't like to play them on the PlayStation I like with my mouse and the computer I tried Far, uh, Far Cry 6 on my PlayStation, doesn't work for me. Not good. And also Far Cry, Far Cry uh, 6 is the same as 5, almost. So it was not the most interesting game I've played. 5 was fine. I played it and I played the whole thing. It was cool, I had some fun. But what six, more of the same, I'm not sure. Hello, Luca. You came into the right place because now we have to finish the, the thing. Yeah, this uh, character, by the way, is starting to look not super bad, I might say. But yeah, when you work on a character for longer, it will be better most of the time, especially if you know what you're doing. <laughs> that's that's a little bit of a thing. Yeah, you have to know uh, what you're doing. That's more difficult. Let me just quickly connect those things. Uh, Control J and Go to scope mode, shift R, control R. Yeah, the face become, uh, you know, I, that's why I kind of tend to not exactly want to uh, connect the face with the rest of the body because I have to go very low with everything. So the face will be relatively fine and for the body it's too much. Most of the time it's like this. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the nice words. The, you, you say that the video is not boring. Uh, I'm a great teacher, which is... Thank you very much. I'm not sure how great I am. People are liking the courses. So I will continue doing them. But the video... This video in particular... Eh, you know... Not the most fun video in a way. And not the most educational video I've done as you can see probably it's just I'm not talking about the things I'm doing that much than answer a question and just jabbering but that's the goal that's why I did this well, that's why I did this um, channel because uh, I know that those lives will not be as educational and the other channel I want to keep it more educational this one more fun just fun just doing some fast concepts for fun. That's the purpose here. How many people are watching now? What's the peak number? Are there like 50? No, never 50. Maybe someday 50. Why not? Oh, this is too much. I made it too thick. I will flatten this. It, no, it's not good. Thick at some point, this muscle. Yeah, we have to be careful with a lot of geometry comes a lot of responsibility. Are you going to make new anatomy courses for Blender? Yes, I will. But uh, for face anatomy, most likely will be. And you see, anatomy... 
I don't know why some people think that I have to do uh, redo my courses, uh, the female anatomy and the male anatomy for Blender. Because, you know, it's anatomy. It doesn't matter if you make it in ZBrush or in Blender. It's the anatomy what's important, not the software at all. It's the forms, the shapes, not how you do them in the software, you know. My anatomy courses are not courses for the software itself, they're for anatomy. And I'm using whatever, ZBrush in this case, but if I do another anatomy course, it will be Blender. Just to illustrate in 3D what the shapes are. That's it. I don't completely like uh, working with so many polygons. Uh, the sculpting is uh, not quite much fun. It's cool, let's see it in the render window. Shadows are amazingly bad. Let's go and try Cycles. <clears throat> cycles is a little bit better. But still, still to wash out. If I go here, if I go to Workbench Render and Matcap and uh, Cavity, Let's go to the render itself. Okay, shadow, increase, screen, this. Make sure we have a nice shadow. We don't have a nice shadow. Single object, random, <laughs> random is good. Flat. Flat is fine. Outline, good. Cavity. Increase the cavity. Let's see how big it could be. World. Yeah, this is good. This is like an ambient occlusion. Now. Now we are talking. That's a little bit too much. Let's say it's not. We don't need it that much. And that's how I did Lobo, by the way. This is how I did the render of Lobo with this workbench render. And it was ultra fast because obviously it's just a, you know, viewport render. And uh, it's very cool. It's very cool. And the turntable was super fast. One of the fastest turntables I've ever done with this render. The x ray? No. Back face cooling? No. Dial down the shadow. And here we can make it softer, I think. No. Focal. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we can make it more cartoony look. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, there are a lot of, a lot of things we can uh, have fun with. In Blender, and in, other, in in many softwares. I mean, not only in Blender, of course. Okay, guys, this will be it probably for this uh, uh, for tonight because it's already like almost two hours. This is one of the biggest life I've ever done. Yeah. So thank you for. Um, being in the chat or if you haven't been in the chat if you're watching this uh, afterwards hands down you are very patient because for two hours just to endure this what i'm doing i don't know too much you did all in this stream yes of course i did all in the stream this is not even too much i spent too much time uh, trying to achieve uh, some likeness on the face which i couldn't and it was uh i wasn't happy but still i like it like this i mean i don't maybe i'll put a shadow here a little bit smaller shadow like this cavity 
this cavity is too much. Let's see screen. No, it's too much world. Yeah, world cavity could be maybe a little bit less. And this could be the stream, the picture. See you guys.